Today we're going to be making Opa ham out of the abductor. Whenever you're trying to do something with fish that normally you'd use a four-legged land animal for, the warm-blooded Opa is kind of a go-to. It's got this nice fat cap on it. Any good ham starts with a good brine, salt, pink peppercorns, pickling spice, brown sugar, maple syrup. This is curing salt, just a little bit of that. Curing salt's dyed pink because you don't want to confuse it with regular salt because it does its job really well and too much of it will definitely cure your guts. And then uh, you can't have a good ham brine without a few bay leaves. So here we're just stirring in hot water. This hot water will pull all of the flavor out of all of those dried spices. Now it looks like it might be a little shy of the amount we need for all of this. That's because we make a very concentrated version and then we can chill it with ice cubes. What does it taste like? Salty, sweet, briny goodness. So we've let this steep for about five minutes, gotten the flavor out. Because that's so concentrated, we're gonna just about double the brine with ice. And this will just chill down while we prep our meat. Now for the fun part. Trim off any bloodline. For fresh applications, I'm a lot more likely to leave it on or to keep it separate and give it a stronger marinade. But just for this, combined with the fact that it's gonna be sitting for some time, it's better to get the blood out. Any bruising in the meat, breaking in the skin, you can see right here why we're using this cut for ham. You have the nice fatty meat, fat cap, and the leaner meat hiding underneath. Try that. <laughs> Should work, right? <laughs> to help this break down as, as we cook it, we're just gonna score the skin. And this fat will render down. It is, right now, pretty tough. And the cool thing about Opa fat is it renders out this crazy bright neon orange color. So the scoring will kind of help the fat cap break down. And for a nice piece of ham, it just looks really cool. If you wanted a really nice Christmas ham, you could always push cloves into the intersections. So this is ready to go away. We're gonna put it away for at least two days. And every day I'll flip them in the brine. So we wanna cook this relatively hot and relatively fast. So these have been in the bath for two days. Off a of bigger fish, you could definitely go a little longer, but that's why we kinda of do formulas and not recipes, because the world's always changing and our ingredients are always changing. Plus all you guys are chefs and you're gonna change the recipes and do it your own way anyway, as you should. Wanna get our fire nice and hot. Um, this is relatively hot, fast cook time. There's our little hams. So we're going to come back to this in about half an hour, probably check on it before then. And you can see that fire, nice and hot. A minute or two, we're going to throw some apple chips on there too. These are uh, macadamia nut shells. The shells are insane for smoking stuff with. Actually, a little, little side tip is the best macadamia nuts ever. If you roast them over the burning embers of their own shells, it's just like the coolest flavor. It makes almost like a little uber macadamia nut. So we already have the mesquite working, and that's gonna give it a little bit of flavor. We're just gonna kinda spread these soaked chips around. So we left this alone for anywhere from uh, 20 to 45 minutes, just depending on the size of the cut. So what we have is ham. Nice firm texture. Not so cooked that it's dry, but just so cooked that it flakes apart. It's definitely ham. We're just cutting against the grain, being real gentle. That fat cap's gonna wanna come off. See that perfect hamness? This is just a parsley vinaigrette. One cool thing with this is you use up extra carrot tops. It doesn't have to be only carrot tops. So for a parsley vins, cilantro vins, anything green, you can put the carrot tops in there. It bulks it up and it adds another dimension of flavor. This is our fresh herb potato salad. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please let us know if there's anything you'd like to see us do.